is your relationship with Ghana Water. Take us to the yes. the okay. very beginning of okay. all of this. Very simple. Um, we basically went to Ghana Water a few years ago um, because we had developed a certain technology platform. And we realized that this technology platform can work very well for utility billing. So we went to Ghana Water and showed them a, a, a mock-up of a system that we thought would benefit them and demonstrated it to them. We had a number of meetings. They brought in all their people. I had to answer. I, I did that presentation. It took four hours. I had to answer every single department and, and explain to them how it would work for them. So we did that. Ghana Water was very excited. They were even more excited by the fact that we told them that we wouldn't charge them for this system. Listen carefully. And that what we would recommend is a novel way of engaging with government or government agencies. We would essentially have them make a contribution and then co-own the system with us because we had done our research. We knew across Africa there was potential sales of such a sophisticated system. They saw the light and they agreed with us. So Ghana Water basically pays us monthly for the operation of their system and their contribution, their investment, if you will, into this co-owned product because we saw the potential sales and Ghana Water needed money. So this is how we structured it. So I believe they went and got sole sourcing because they had gone and taken a World Bank facility. So they kept asking me, well, we have these millions from the World Bank. And, and, and what should we do with it then? And I said, well, I suggest you give it back. Because why should we burden our children and our grandchildren with a debt unnecessarily? We're a Ghanaian company. We are happy to go in with you as partners. We will make our profit, i.e. outside the monthly operation costs. The profit that Soft Tribe will make from this contract is a small percentage of the increase in revenue. Not what we came and met. The increase in revenue, we are about to reach there. We haven't reached there yet. We are about to reach there. So this was the agreement. And for us, it sounded like a very sweet deal. I've made presentations internationally and, and bragged about the fact that in Ghana, we're very sophisticated and we can come up with su such a, a sexy model that doesn't require us going to World Bank to go and collect money. So this is, this is how we've worked. So we started working. Everything was working well. Next thing we know, Ghana Water is receiving awards. We are getting accolades from everybody. Our friends are all telling us, hey, the water system is nice now. Here you did it. Uh, Ghana Water MD, I believe you got MD of the year or something. Uh, Ghana Water was company of the year. They, they, lots of accolades. And then, after a while, there's a, a certain person in Ghana Water who started shaking us down for money and trying to extort money out of us in a ridiculous way. And we, 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 it was difficult for us. We resisted. So it became intimidation. Then it became... Uh, I'll have you sacked. Then it became, I'll terminate your contract. Then it became, Afenyo Makin doesn't like you. If, if you don't give me money to go and give him, uh, he'll sack you and that kind of thing. And this whole thing was very complicated because we couldn't see the wood from the trees. I didn't know whether it was this guy lying or Afenyo Makin lying until recently. We had a, a meeting with Afenyo Makin and it became apparent that we had been fooled and he had been fooled. He was told not to speak to us directly. We were told not to, as soon as the two of us spoke, we, we saw our way clear. We immediately then documented what had been happening and formally handed it to Ghana Water. You say Apeyo Makin had been fooled. Yeah, he had been fooled. And he had been told not to speak to you directly. Exactly. And he, of course, is chairman of the board. Of course. Okay. But well. he, had, he had also been told negative things about us. So basically, this element, I'm trying not to mention the name, just not to, you know, but everybody knows who it is. So basically, this is the problem we had now this person is fairly powerful in the organization and uh, has poisoned uh, a lot of people's minds if they say they're having technical challenges it's quite ridiculous i'll tell you why unfortunately for them this billing system is public facing there are around 500,000 Ghanaians who use it day to day to pay their bills we have seen uh, demonstrations and fights on ecg billing we have seen prc issuing warnings to ecg the Ghanaian software, our own. Have you ever heard of any water issues? That somebody's fighting somebody at Sakumono and there's been a riot and if we can't pay, we can't have water. There's, there's been nothing like that. And as a result, uh, we, we've had all these awards and so on. So 
if there are some people who say the system is not working, well, there is some six people inside Ghana water versus around half a million people who are Ghanaians on the streets who are watching and using the system. So that's issue one. So this is the nature of the contract. We, we are working well until these extortion attempts came, which came with the threats, which confused us. Didn't affect the work, but confused us, disrupted our operation a bit because we started suspecting that they are working with some of our staff who we assigned to them. They are working with them to sabotage so that they can bring a justification to kick us out. It is in fact the case that Ghana Water wrote a very strange letter to us a few months ago saying that sat out of the blue, bam, 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 we're having these problems. We responded immediately. Problem one, it was solved last week. Problem two, uh, 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 we, have, we have talked about it already. It's, it's, it's been resolved in three months as per so and so. Problem four, five, six, ah, those are on your side. They're not on our side. It's, we haven't done them because you haven't given us what we need to do to them. We've written to you and we've reminded you twice. Then, uh, no response. Okay, so that, that strategy won't work. Then they said, you know what, screw this. They wrote to us and just said terminate no reason because if you come with the reasons we are ready they just terminated for no reason so when they are now quoting that there's some technical issue we, we are confused they haven't told us about any technical issue that we haven't responded to we don't know that there's a technical issue they are saying strange things in in, in the press and, and we are now learning that there might be a technical issue we are all paying our water bill what's technical issue so that's one two uh, another important point to make you know Ghana Water, as an organization, uses our system on a day-to-day -day basis. If you go to Ghana Water now, there are people sitting behind computers working. They are working off our system. Mm. The system is a cloud-based system. It is not in our office. It is not on the ground. When, you see, Ghana Water didn't know very much about IT. This is our innovation. It's not their innovation. They gave us input. That's why they have shareholding. They had input into the specific water side of it we give them that and that's why they own 50 percent of it now uh, when uh, when when the system works on the cloud there's a, a part of the system which i recommended to ghana water i was in a meeting with fred local i said fred who was the former md I said, fred uh, let's add this to the contract what is it i said we need an emergency place so that if there's an earthquake or something, no, Ghana government will not be held uh, unaccountable. They, they have nothing. And then we're gone. So it is only to be used for disaster recovery. That part of the system. Because it contains our programs. So that in an emergency, you can install the whole thing again and run it. Mm. Now, we suddenly notice that it's like you have a house and there's a back door. The back door is to be used when there's a fire. Then you suddenly notice that every morning your brother wakes up, he's walking around the back door. What's he doing there? This is what we explained in our write-up to Ghana Water. So your brother in this story is Ghana Water? Yes. It's not their business. We are the ones who are doing the technology. They are the ones doing the water in the partnership. Did you notice from the very beginning that they were the ones trying to go in through the back no, door? No, we were confused. So you know what we did? We blocked it. Because that back door is used in earthquake and landslide and typhoon and ebola is not used every day so i'm wondering who is who is who somebody keeps going so we blocked it to see who will shout then they called david bolton into a meeting and shouted hey, why have you blocked it why are you so we're like hey what are they doing there that gave us a hint that back door is used for two things it's used if there's a natural disaster there has been a hurricane or if somebody is trying to steal the technology these are the two ways in which it can be used. So we immediately started thinking, ah, what's going on here? Boom, they've terminated us too. Wait a second. We hope these people, we own 50% of this thing. We are IP owners. We hope they are not trying to just copy it off and then go and use it with somebody else. It will be a complete violation of the copyright. Complete. It will, it will end up costing them $100 million. Now, on this access to data issue, mm -hmm. yesterday, the yes. chief commercial manager, yes. uh, Mrs. Aka, told us on the show that this was a regular backup that they've been able to do on a number of occasions. And on a specific occasion, they found difficulty to back up their own data. That is actually the side of Ghana Water. We send the backup. We send the backup. They don't do the backup. We send the backup. Do you understand? Mm. The, the system is on the cloud. We send them the backup. The backup is timed. 
at, at the close of day, it goes. Note, the backup they're waiting for, firstly, put it aside, it's for disasters. There has been no disaster. What are they looking for there? That's one. <clears throat> Two, the last backup was Friday. The backup goes at the end of the day. The next working day was Monday. At 4 o'clock on Monday, they come with uh, some one church player. Uh, national, uh, from Ghana Water with national security, with guns and so on come to office saying that they are coming to take data. If they had just waited a couple of hours it should have gone automatically. By the way, I think national security should have come yesterday too because yesterday at 4 o'clock too the backup hadn't been done. It sweeps at a certain time every day. And there is no disaster. Why are they looking for it? It worries me. And when you ask Mrs. Aka on the, on the phone that what is your game plan after soft tribe? He said, we will find a way. Find a way to what? He said, we'll, we'll find she says that there's a system that they are using to build. They'll go back to the system. That's when they took over, when our system came, Ghana Water themselves admit, they got all these awards. They jacked up their revenue by 14%. And I'm they sure got an like, increase in revenue. Yes, of 14%. And I'm sure it will go further up. Over which period? I don't, know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the details. Okay. But they themselves okay. will save you, as them, they'll tell you. Okay. Right? And I'm sure it will go further up. Mm. So... Oh. I was saying, don't forget, you couldn't pay by mobile money. You couldn't pay by a lot of these things, the, the read, meter reading on apps, so on, so on, so A lot of these things are things that were part of our design. Our contract with Ghana Water says they cannot reverse engineer our system. We cannot reverse engineer it. They cannot reverse engineer it. Right? They are co-owners of the system. Correct. Now, why would all this be happening? You own a system already. You're going to get another system. You want a system that's working, has got your awards. They keep di distracting this thing to say, we want a contract, we don't do it. It is not about contract. We do not want our intellectual property stolen. That one will fight to the death. If they are co-owners of this system, yes. will they still not have the, the right to use the system even after um, this contract with you is terminated? That is possible, but then they have to pay us out. Me and you own Golden Tulip. You say you want Golden Tulip for yourself. It's okay. How much? How it's much? It's not a fight. How much? Tell me. No, I don't know. It's something we have to calculate. Okay. It's not a fight. It's not a fight at all. And so what we say is that there are civil, civil ways to handle these situations. If, even if they don't want to. It's not by force. Though. This world, nobody owes nobody. If Ghana Water decides that, you know what, you guys, we like your face, but we don't like your face anymore. So come and sit down. Let's negotiate you out. We are completely open. I don't know why they are fighting. Why they are doing hum, 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 fighting behind the scenes, trying to. We are partners. As you notice in my talking, I am not hostile to Ghana Water. I'm not trying to insult them. I'm not trying to make them look bad. Because we own a system together. They are my partners. Even if they have failings, I will try and cover them small. Unless the failing is so bad. You notice, this uh, thing that we said about a particular person in Ghana Water, mm -hmm. we didn't send it to the press. We have to protect our property. Ghana government has invested. We don't want anybody to cause financial loss to our state. It's our grandchildren's money. We have also invested. We don't want to lose anything. So to the extent it is possible, we'll, you, you, you notice that we have, we have held back <coughs> all this time. We didn't say anything. We are trying our best to find a negotiated way forward because we have invested. It, it is just, it, we are not trying to uh, throw the baby out of the bathwater. It's a lot of money that has gone on their side and on our side. And we are yet to make our profit. The 3% hasn't hit yet. You see what I mean? This termination hmm. of the contract, yes. isn't it above board as uh, as far as your your contracts with them uh, is concerned let me tell you the steps to the termination isn't there a termination clause which they have there, there's absolutely a termination clause mm -hmm. but a termination clause well what are you doing next come and let's talk if we suddenly find you are suddenly interested in the back end of the system where the programs live and uh, one of the people is telling david that oh we went and put it on another server hey intellectual property who told you who told you to put it on another server we own 50 percent. how dare you what are you talking about? They don't understand these issues. So, so explain, this, e explain this part to me. You're saying that someone told you they copied the data and put it on another system. Yes. And that's the kind of water technical staff told us that's what they've been doing. It is illegal. Why? I mean, it, it, you co own property. You understand? If, if, you, if you, you and I own Golden Tulip, you can't take Golden Tulip and go and sign a, an agreement with KLM without me. Mm. And, and committing the, all the rooms. You can mm. commit half of the rooms with agreement from me. But nobody can walk through the lobby who I don't know. And mm. these are not things we need to fight about. It's not a fight. These are standard things. Even 
in IT space, in the IT space, copying is against the law. Forget putting it on a server. Copying without permission is against the law. That is a, a, a copyright violation. Mm. It's 13 minutes past eight. This is the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. We are speaking to Herman Chinwehesi, who is the chairman of Soft Tribe. What we've gotten to so far is that he has accused someone in Ghana Water Company Limited of trying to shake them down for money. I'm using his expression. The person came to him or, or to their company and asked for money. You're saying this multiple times? Yes. Okay. Was this before or after the contract was terminated? All through. All through. From right before to, to okay, thank you, and and of course, this he describes to me the heart of the issue that has brought us to this point where officials of national security came to copy data. There's a bit of a clarification that we need because we have two clearly different descriptions of your engagements with national security. Number one, Ghana Water says we wanted access, we were not getting access, and so we had to. We had to um, engage national security. You see, that that's is, a blatant lie. It's a blatant lie. Blatant. We we'll hear Mr. Herman Chinui has his version of that story. We would uh, never do such a thing. It's an ethical and it's illegal. Okay, we'll be right back to clear that up. Stay with us. This is the Super Morning Show. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. When times are hard, when you're stressed and down, and down. GT Bank is here to lift you up again. But no matter who you are, no matter where you are, quick credits got instant cash that's just for you. Sort out your bills and support your business anytime you need it. Just get it by dialing. Star seven three seven star zero hush. Star seven three seven star zero hush. Star seven three seven star zero hush. Pull up to 100% of your salary and pay within 30 days at an incredible interest rate of 2%. Get instant cash in 2 minutes or less with no paperwork, no collateral, no banking hold. Simply dial star 737 star zero hash to get started. Guarantee Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank with us? Ma, please give me your phone. Let me make a quick call. So you are still on that network that gives you fear, data, and talk time. Where Vodafone has double the red one, red two, and red five offers. Eh? 